In a previous video, I demonstrated a simple technique of copying a spindle and creating a pattern for use in 3D and at the lathe. Now let's go to the lathe and turn it. The blank is turned round with a roughing gouge to the largest diameter found on the spindle. Notches are pressed into the pattern with a skew chisel at the cross sections to guide the pencil for layout on the round blank. Calipers are set to a diameter on the pattern and a parting tool cuts on the corresponding line. The depth of the cut is guided by the calipers by placing it into the groove. When it slips through, full depth has been reached. The space between the grooves is where the shaping takes place using a variety of turning tools. And this requires interpretation of the details, which makes each turning a little different. This turning is stacked with classical shapes with names like bead, scotia, and fillet. This is an urn. On the original, the taper isn't straight, but slightly curved, like the entasis of a column. The three quarter inch tenon at the top needs to be the most precise diameter on this turning because it needs to fit snugly into a three quarter inch hole. I leave it slightly oversized so there's material left to sand away. And that's one way to turn a spindle from a pattern.